Spirit of Life is proudly sponsored by Mattress Oz. Mattressesarus.com.au Hello, my name is Geraldine Lee, your host, and welcome to Spirit of Life. And our guest is John Smith. He's going to share his faith story and his involvement in the musical Call of Guadalupe. Hi, John. G'day, Geraldine. Welcome to our show. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'd like to also know about your faith, how, how you came to have an active faith in God, because uh, you're a young person, and it's, it, I suppose that in this age, a lot of young people seem to be not so interested in their mm. faith. Yeah, very true. Like it's, you know, the society today, it's, it's tough to live a very, uh, very faithful lifestyle, um, very devoted lifestyle to God. Uh, one thing that I've found to keep myself uh, involved in the faith is to actually put myself in places where the faith is growing where the faith is alive. And that's uh, where the COG, uh, Theatre Company, has um, had a great involvement with me. Friends, uh, having good groups of friends who I can have a, a similar a outlook on my faith and of life. And, and they've strengthened my faith. Uh, but I also say that you know, having a solid background, um, not everyone does, but I've been blessed to have very solid background through my parents' um, upbringing, um, and that's stretched all the way back from Ireland. So uh, mm. I thank my parents and all my family so much for the, for the, for the happy and, and faithful life that I've had so far. That's fantastic. So it's about positioning yourself. That's in that's a very um, important thing, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, I come from Albury, um, or the Upper Murray region of, uh, of Victoria in Australia. It's it's a very faithful uh, group up there. Um, I, have, I was blessed to be in a very strong and predominant youth group uh, in Albury. They, they guided me well. I got in a good group of friends. Um, and then I moved down to Melbourne. Now, Melbourne's big, Melbourne's broad, but I moved in with a couple of good housemates. They, uh, and they backed me. I backed them in our journey of faith. And, and we, we live our life um, as servants of God, as, as, um, as a disciple to God um, every day, every single moment of our lives. And yeah, we, I couldn't be happier. Mm, and what would you say to people who are tempted to leave their faith? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't. In simple words, don't. Like it's, it's tough not to, but what will make you a better person is by standing up against that, that general flow of, of the world, of Australia, mm. of, of the world, just of your general society mm. uh, today. It will make you a better person for standing up against that and standing strong to your morals. Morals today are, are, are very hard to come by, especially good morals uh, in a person. But if you've got your faith, more than likely, more than likely you've got good morals, and you're better off sticking to them than uh, letting them go. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying the currents are quite strong. It's strong. It's strong. But the thing is, the faith is stronger. Mm. The what God gives you is stronger than anything that a man, um, woman uh, can give you. Um, whatever faith um, in Christian faith, I will say, you know, even through a Christian faith, Catholic faith, uh, you've got to be, you've got to be like they they form strong mm. roots within you, and if you can find them, keep them up. Keep them up. And do you find that um, a lot of people sometimes would? tease you about your faith at times oh for sure for sure i mean that that's part and parcel with being uh with being a servant of god you know like through my um younger years i've i was um you know i i wasn't uh, blessed to sort of have many uh 
friends who of of the same faith mm. uh, lifestyle as I. And so it was tough, you know, growing up through primary and early secondary years, uh, and then even throughout secondary years. Uh, but then when I got out of school, I found the good group of friends. I found the good, uh, where they were. I found that pocket and that's where I leapt from. Um, I, I leapt from there and I tell you what, then it was awesome. And what do you do? Are you a student or worker? I am a student currently. Um, I'm studying accounting up in um, La Trobe University in Bandura. It's going good. Um, it's, it, it's a bit of a struggle at times, <laughs> you know, accounting. Yeah, but, um, but I'm also just working um, um, overnight time in a restaurant uh, chain or it, just in a restaurant, Palazzo restaurant. Uh, it was, and look, good people, good food, Italian food, which I love, hence the belly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nah, I'm loving life at the moment. So. And one of your passions is pro-life? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I've got a good group of uh, pro-life friends. I'm uh, an advocate. Oh, I'm, I help um, coordinate the um, Crossroads Australia walk. Wow. It's from Brisbane to Melbourne. Um, it's a month-long walk, and and currently, as we speak, the American walkers um, are walking their stretch over in America. There's four walks from the west coast to the east coast, um, and they've been going for ten years. We've been going for two years, but uh, there'll be a third year coming up, and many more years to come. So that's fantastic that you're doing that. And so you coordinated a crossroads walk, didn't you? Yeah, I first year it came across. I um, I was uh, elected by um, Jimmy Nolan from America to help direct and, and coordinate um, the walk. Um, you know, food, um, housing, uh, churches to speak out on weekends in the towns that we'd be at, travelling, uh, everything that that's involved in a, in a month long walk and um mm. it was good it, it i found my i found my niche in that it was good great people and we reached out to many many towns across the eastern side of and you give talks as you go along is that right yeah we do yeah youth groups we encourage youth groups to come along uh to see and to hear what our, our our message is for Crossroads, um, what we hope to bring Crossroads, you know, j just the whole enlightenment of the pro-life cause in Australia. Uh, it's growing, it's getting stronger, um, and, you know, through that, uh, we hope to um, reach out broader. Yeah, that's stretch fantastic. Our, stretch yeah. our wings across <laughs> Australia, so. Yeah, it's inspiring. Oh, we need to go for a break now, but we'll, but um, I'd like to hear more about it. Yeah, for sure. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us and we'll be back after the break. Hello, welcome back to Spirit of Life. My name is Geraldine Lee and our guest is John Smith. He's been sharing on his faith and his involvement in pro-life activities. Hi John, it's Good great to have you back again. Thank you. Yeah, you were sharing about Crossroads, how it um, sort of reaches to, is it to young people mainly? Yeah, young people and and older people. Um, you know, when we come into a town, um, I, we we rely on a lot of, of of older people and especially priests too, to sort of get around and um, maybe take us into their houses for a night to, to stay, um, um, so that you know we're not caught out on on the road or, or at a at a caravan park or something. But um, yeah, so th there's that involvement too. We reach out to them, um, and but yeah, predominantly youth, where we can sort of grow them and, and make them into the, our next yeah. leaders on on our campaign. Yes. And what's attracted you to pro-life and all this God sort of stuff? I, I think just being just the pure role model that that uh, God is. You know, He He's and our and may I say that the, our, our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary, she, they are both great advocates. You know, for us to sort of lead, take many uh, many initiatives from, 
and to adapt that into our everyday life. Sure, that were 2,000 years ago when, when we didn't have mobile phones or, or, or anything such like that. But we can use the message that he's given us and that they've all given us through many years, use that into our lifestyle and to, to make us a better person. It's made me a better person for it. Um, and it's the preciousness of life that, uh, and especially that our mother holds. Look, even with Our Lady of Guadalupe, hence the musical, um, you know, within her eyes, even within uh, past the point where there was uh, Diego and Bishop, there, there has been uh, some reports that they, scientists can see a further, further image, deeper and deeper inside her eye, of the family, of you know, the mother and the father, and I think it's at about two, three children, apparently. But wow. Don't quote me, but... Uh, yeah, they, and and that is at the heart of of our mother, and and it is life is precious, and life brings brings a family. Yes, yeah, so it's wonderful that you you sort of got involved after Crossroads, so also pro life activities through Call of Guadalupe. Yeah, through uh, Call of Guadalupe, I've, I've been able to reach out to many different. Um, uh, organisations. Uh, there's a big pro-life march in Melbourne, um, and then there's many di- many different contacts I've been able to use um, th- yeah. from Call of Guadalupe through the crossroads. Um, getting contacts from them, getting them to our our, our groupings, and 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 our, yeah, so it's good. Yeah, could you tell um, us a, more about the Call of Guadalupe musical? What's the story and and um about this musical, I know it's pro-life, but um, yeah. roughly, what is this show about? It's funny because the it's a purely pro-life message. Um, but in in the second scene of the play, here we have the Aztecs slaughtering. Yeah, the Aztecs back in their times before before it became Mexico as we know it now. Uh, it was under the Aztec regime, and they were slaughtering th- tens of thousands per day, per year. Not sure the f- numbers, but it was phenomenal. And as as it was, the blood ran through the streets. That that is literally how it was. And now, um, like uh, after the conquistadors came, the Spanish came and conquered, it, be- gave it a, a Christian um, faith. Uh, we now see that um, the preciousness of life, and how that it's gone from one end of the scale to the end to the to the better end of the mm-hmm. scale to to save lives. Yes, that's great. And um, the theatre group, can you tell me about the theatre group that ran this musical? Yeah, the theatre group um, was uh, started by uh, John Lee. Um, he's the playwright of the musical, a very good and holy man. He's 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 now in his up in his mid eighties, and he's still going strong. You wouldn't think he's he's in his mid eighties, but now he's going well. He and his uh, late wife um, wrote the play, and his and the music. Um, Peter Foster composed it. And look, it's a brilliant, vibrant, uh, colourful musical. Um, got many. It's got the jokes here and there. Between, you got the fun of the rebels, and then you got the seriousness of Diego with him losing um, his wife, uh, and then the absolute pure joy of of um, one of the rebels who was trying to start a, a, a revolution against the conquistadors and against the faith was brought back to life miraculously so it's it's everything's there and better still we get to see it firsthand in our life there's a scene where you know it comes back into the modern day life um and we can easily adapt that into our our own life Mm. and so yeah the, the group incorporates very many different people um whether they're you know whether they're normal people or whether they're handicapped people you know we 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 take all people into into account because life is precious and you know everyone has everyone has got a gift that they can give to us yes. and 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 that's what we strive on yeah it's wonderful that you're using your gift mm. and you've acted in the musical Yes, I've been in four productions. I uh, started in Albury and then I've done two in Kew and then one in Pakenham. And then now this is the fifth one I'm helping direct the show. So wow, it's, uh, I've, I'm going to put all, all <laughs> my five, uh, four productions into use and, and make this the best one. So. Yes, and you're a singer 
Yeah, singer and actor. I've, I've done a bit of singing coaching through my career. Um, uh, I've, got, I've had many great you know, lessons from many awesome people. I, um, I've been able to put that into the show. I've been able to give that, you know, uh, put that on stage uh, and then acting I've done acting through school um, th and through many different theatre groups up in Albury uh, especially and uh, look all that's accredited to uh, to my knowledge of of how to use the stage properly so oh it's fantastic that you're a young director and and a but and a good actor <laughs> yeah well I'm young but there's still plenty plenty <laughs> <That's let's> right. <laughs> plenty yet to learn energy, yeah. yes. ah well yeah, yeah. yes um, yes, yeah, th um, thanks for sharing that. We're going to have to go for a break now. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Join us after the break. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Spirit of Life. My name is Geraldine Lee, your host, and our guest is John Smith. He's been sharing his faith and his involvement in pro-life activities in Our Lady of Guadalupe musical. Hello, John. Good night, Geraldine. Uh, yeah, it's um, exciting to hear about your involvement with the musical Call of Guadalupe. I hear um, it is um, coming soon to Melbourne this year. Yes, yes, it's uh, another production in Melbourne, <laughs> uh, which is good. It's, it's uh, the 10th anniversary. Um, show it uh, it's going to fall on on the ten years after it uh, started. Yeah, rehearsal started uh, from the very first one, um, and it's going to be good. It's going to be a big show. It's going to be a very very good and happy show. I'm hoping <laughs> it's um, yeah. I can't wait till it's uh, yes. till it's on stage and oh, you know fantastic. people can see it. People can new people, old people, um, and especially trying to get some of the older crew back in to yes. you know, to get in there and, and show what it was ten years ago and, yes, and how great. it's grown from then. So. Yeah, that sounds beautiful. And w has the musical in those ten years? Where has it gone? It's gone as far as the Philippines. Wow! <laughs> Amazingly, yeah. It's it's as it is. It's been very blessed. It's been. Um, all uh, to most parts of Australia, you know, it's been up to Darwin, um, Adelaide. Adelaide's a very strong group uh, as it is now, uh, and it's been up to Kyabram and even up to Aubrey, where where <laughs> I uh, started from. So, yeah, no, it's it's been around the country, and it's yeah, just like Crossroads, it's sp it's spreading its wings <laughs> out. To what did you think it benefited Aubrey? Coming from Aubrey, what did you feel it did to Aubrey? Aubrey, to Aubrey, it united uh, a lot of people. It it, uh, it was something new that the Catholic community up there had not experienced, uh, being a full-scale musical. Um, it brought a lot of people together, brought people who didn't know who, who were in the churches, you know, brought them out. And it strengthened their fa uh, the faith up in uh, Thiguna, which was the primary church in which it was uh, installed at. But um, it strengthened the community there. And look, going back there today, it's a very strong community. They're very lovely people. And yeah, they get right behind the musical. Um, I get a lot of encouragement from them. And um, I go and talk to them on many occasions about it. So oh, That's fantastic. And, and also, um, what do you think happens in the cast? For the you know like on a what when during the show when in all the rehearsing what what usually what are the benefits to the cast benefits you know n not only the the involvement of them in the play you know getting better as as a an actor as a singer you know getting their knowledge of the play of of how musicals of how stages works um, but j just the pure uh, connection between the people. Um, they, they form very strong uh, bonds between each other and they also uh, get a very uh, fulfilling and deep experience of, of what uh, the miracle and the apparition at um, um, Mount, As um, Mount Tepiak sorry, um, was and, and how it influences them as yeah. actors and, and stretches out to the... 
Mm. Could you tell us the story of uh, Juan Diego and the apparition? Yes, yeah, so uh, Saint Juan Diego, um, he was just a villager of the of the of Mexico, and he um, he ha had a wife, and who and also was housing with uh, Bernardino, his father-in-law, and he was sick. Uh, Bernardino was very sick, and Maria came down sick also and died, um, and then not long after, uh, he was walking up to uh, Mount Tepeyac, which is in Mexico where the shrine is today, and Our Lady um, appeared to him. You know, at first there was music, there was soft music, because the, the Mexicans, they love their music. You know, then there was the sweet song of birds and, um, and the pure warmth. Like you get high, higher up a mountain, it gets colder automatically. That's how it works, but it got warmer. And then all of a sudden he was scared, he was frightened. All of a sudden Our Lady appeared and, and um, it was filled with many blessings. and. Uh, he was given Castilian roses, uh, which weren't grown in Mexico, only in Spain. Um, taken back, he took that back to the bishop, and revealed to him the the blessed tilma of the, with our, with the vision of Our Lady upon it, and and also um, his father-in-law Bernardino was cured of his sickness too. So. And this is a historical true story. Historical, back in 1531, which was when it was marked just when it was, um, you know, dated back till, um, they, you know, as I said about the, uh, the vision inside Our Lady's eyes, you know, there was uh, Bishop Zumaraga who was, who was there and they could date that back, they could put him into the history. Um, the tilma was dated back with all the fabrics, uh, back to that era. And, and so, yeah, it was, it was highlighted in, in, in our history's timeline. So. Mm. And miracles have happened as a result of this musical? Yes, not, not directly to me, but um, I've, I've heard of many different uh, stories of, from people um, with, their, you know, with their experiences from the musical, with the faith that they've come from um, and what they've gained from this musical. I heard that in uh, Kayabram there was a lot of rain. They prayed for um, uh, they prayed for rain and they, there was a drought at the time and rain came. And Yeah, yeah. That, that's true. It's uh, back then it was, you know, back in 05, 06 was when yeah, Kayabram would have been. It was dry. You know, I, I was up in Albury, you know, on the similar <laughs> similar plains to Kyabram, extremely dry. And yeah, look, then since uh, it's funny, since then we haven't had an ex like an extremely horrible weather. We've had terrible bushfires up in that area, but um, look, we've been blessed with plenty of rain and plenty of water. So oh, praise God! Yeah. So that's a miracle. Yeah, and it, and it's a miracle that um, a young person like you who you know, uh, a normal bloke is is <laughs> full of faith. Oh well, it's it's definitely a miracle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but yeah, it is. It is, especially in today, as I said. And but, what um, would you say to guys out there who are kind of like, oh, you know, uh, I think I, I prefer to be in the world. What would you say to them? Oh, look, there's there's yeah. If if you're stuck in a rut, then yeah, that's where you'll be for the rest of your life, and you'll get to see nothing else but whatever's in that rut. Um, what I say is, you know, look, ha ha there's plenty out there today, plenty in the world, and look, if you can only find it by going and searching for it. Um, you miss a lot. Yes. Uh, you miss yeah. a lot uh, just being stuck in that rut, and um, yeah. so, yeah. Well, it, uh, well, I wish you all the best for um, the musical in August. Is yeah, it August in August, to... it'll be mm -hmm. the 13th to the 16th um, oh. on those nights oh, wow. and, and there'll be a matinee And are you still after cast or things oh, like that? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cast oh, okay. and crew, however you want to help. Backstage, on yes. stage, back of house, front of house, yeah. come along. Yeah, so I wish you all the best and uh, God bless you. Uh, thank you. You too, Geraldine. You've been watching Spirit of Life. Join us again next week. Goodbye and God bless you.
Spirit of Life was proudly sponsored by Mattress Oz. Mattresses are us.com.au.